Hello, very welcome to the class. How are you today? It's a pleasure to be with you. So, yesterday we were checking about crisis. Do you remember? Can you hear me? Do you remember yesterday we were checking about crisis? So, what do you remember when we were checking? Uh, what is the price in your own way? I don't hear you well. So, can you hear me better now? No. Okay, seems like problem here. Can you hear me better now? Not yet. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, a little bit. Okay, very well. Okay, I was uh, telling you that we yesterday we were talking about crime. So what is a price for you in your own work? I can hear you very well. Yeah. Okay, let's talk. I'm going to chat with you. So you you know what to do and then I'm going to change my equipment.
Hello, can you hear me better now? Yes. Yes. Ah, very nice. Good, perfect. Perfect, so we can continue here. So, um, yeah, it seems that um, sometimes there is a problem on my phone. And by now, as I was telling you, sometimes I have to drive from San Salvador. To Japan. So right now I'm still driving, but of course we can continue with the class. So, yeah, the first question I have for everybody is, what is a crisis? Do you remember that? So who can tell me what is a crisis? I don't remember, but I think it's a situation when is a when have a, have a problem in in other parts. Okay, very good. It's like a problem you say. That is nice. What else? What is is part of a crisis. Nobody said a problem, but there are other elements in a crisis. Uh, the unit uh, number three is based on that one. What is a crisis and how to solve or check into that one. So uh, yesterday we watched video and then that's why tonight we are remembering about that one. So crisis is a problem. What is What else is a crisis? Remember that also we were speaking about conflicts and uh, what is the difference between a conflict and a crisis? What do you think? Anybody? In your opinion, of course, I mean, this is something that we're going to check, but by now, what is the difference in your opinion between a crisis and uh, a conflict? Maybe conflict can be the some problem that some co-worker co can have in a, in a in a company or between a, a team team of department. Very good, perfect. So that might be something like that. I mean, uh, a conflict is like one problem, something that is not working well. A crisis is a series of problems. So there are many problems, and it's causing something to come. To a, a dangerous zone. So a crisis can be a, a conflict as well. I mean, a conflict can be in a personal way. It can be in a work environment. It can be in government. I mean, sometimes some governments, they have conflicts. But when you say a crisis is when you escalate all the conflicts. So do you remember what is escalate? It's a word that we've been checking recently. What is escalate? Do you remember? To escalate something. Okay, that is a very, very common word in, the, let's say, work environment. To escalate is when you want to do or when something is getting bigger, larger. So that is it. We have a conflict that escalates. And when you say escalates, it's because it's, it's getting worse. It's causing dangerous uh, dangerous zone 
So that's why, for example, we say that there are crises and different things. Uh, one of the most common crises that we speak nowadays, uh, well, well, let me ask you, do you know what is nowadays? Are you going the significado de nowadays? In these days. Very good, in these days. So one of the most popular, uh, let's say, crisis that people discuss nowadays is the the climate crisis. What do you understand as the climate crisis? It's about the problems in the weather that we are affecting with our actions. Very good. So that is it. It's like the weather, the, the world the climate. So the first question regarding that crisis that I have for you is, um, do you believe that we we actually have a, a climate crisis? What do you think, in your opinion? Yes, teacher, we have it. Because the, the weather changed a lot in the morning it could be it could be um, a, a, a sunny day and in the afternoon it could rain cats and dogs teacher so it's it's terrible how the the weather changed during the day so i think in in this day it, it's the the plan, plan how do you say climate thing? How do you say? Climate. Climate uh, crisis. It's uh, an important topic, but I think uh, we can change it. But if if the world se uh, compromete, uh, how do you say se compromete? Commit. Commit to change our habit. I think we can change this this crisis. But uh, nowadays we are living this this crisis in this every day. Okay. So yes, right. We we actually we are experiencing a climate crisis, and what you say is very true. I mean, the the weather has changed. I remember that, for example, in the past, long time ago, a lot of years ago, uh, I mean, you speak about the winds in October, right? Now, that doesn't happen. That happens in December. So everything is changing. Another thing that happens sometimes is that, for example, this year, this year, uh, we had a lot of hot. So it was very, very hot. There were countries in Europe uh, where they had to to move people out of their houses because of the hot in Mayan. In Belgium, uh, I was reading that in Belgium, they had to move a lot of people from some cities to refugees. So it's a big problem. And I was also reading that the next year, uh, we are going to have a record in hot. So let's be ready for the next year, right? Because it's going to be very, very hot. So what do you believe are the causes of climate crisis? What might be the causes of this problem? The causes of the climate crisis? Maybe pollution. Very good. Pollution definitely is one of the causes, right? Any other thing? Maybe uh, deforestation. Deforestation is deforestation, teacher. I'm sorry, you say deforestation? Deforestation. Ah, deforest. 
Yeah, different. Yeah, that, different. that definitely is a, yeah, it's a, it's a big problem. And yes, it's true. I mean, uh, around the world, I, I read, I was reading that like two years ago in the Amazon Brazil, they are cutting a lot of trees and that the, the actions that they did there in that forest affect the whole world, all the planet. Imagine that. So that is one of the causes. What might be another cause for the climate crisis? I think the, the constructions of houses and roads, most all of this kind of of things can yeah, this conta contaminate the 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 world by the definitely so that is true they pollute they pollute um the planet and yeah they are building a lot of a lot of malls a lot of houses definitely that is something that affects okay now just to close this little discussion that is the introduction um i mean of course the causes, yeah go ahead and what is the difference between Climate and weather? Oh, very good question. Okay, climate is like the world climate. It's like uh, what is happening, I mean, in many countries, what is affecting, if there is a hurricane, if there is a, a storm that is going to affect that country. The weather is like today is going to be sunny or it's going to be rainy. Uh, so weather is like in short term, and climate is more in general. It's, it's bigger. Very good. Okay. So climate is in general. Yeah, climate is like what is happening. I mean, when you say climate, it's not only if it's raining. It's also um, uh, about the temperature of the ocean, uh, about uh, if the the, All pool the factors. Moves. Yeah, exactly. But weather is, I mean, today is sunny. Uh, tomorrow is going to be windy, and that is the weather. Okay. Very good. Good question. Nice. So I have another question for you. Uh, we know more or less what are the causes of the. Um, of the climate crisis. And we know that it's because of the money, right? I mean, they are building houses, they are making some uh, molds and pollution because of money. So uh, what can we do here in this planet so we can fix the problem? What do you think are going to be some solutions on that? Uh, I think one option can be plant three and and don't don't throw plastic plastic on the on or in the river. Very good. So that is one of the solutions. Stop. Pollution, right? Pollution is a very important factor in this matter, okay? Any other solution that you might think about this? Use less the cars, I think. Okay, very good. So yes, that actually is uh, one solution that some of the governments have uh, trying to get into to the table, let's say. So uh, there are countries actually where you cannot use your car every day, right? So you use the car Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays and other people, they use their car on Mondays, Wednesdays and so on. So there are many things that we can 
uh, we can handle. But sometimes it's not convenient. I mean, imagine that you want to go out, you cannot use the car. Sometimes it's, it's a problem, right? But it's interesting how this can happen. So, okay, this was a little introduction to the topic of this uh, unit. We're going to check the attendance right now and then we're going to check the book. So, Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Daniel Antonio Luna. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino Garcia. Present. Good. Erica Yasmin Martinez Carpio. Present. Good. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present. Good. Germán Alexander Durán Linares. Present. Good. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Good. José Alberto Baños Hernández. Present. Good. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Good. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Present. Good. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Nelson Antonio Arroda Rosales. Present. Good. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present. Good. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Good. Zulma Janet Ramírez Ábalos. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Good. And David Alexander Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Very good. Okay. So let me just check something here. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with the unit three on the book. As I was telling you, this is about crisis, right? So unit three, managing crisis. Remember that managing is like to the way that you are going to handle a situation, right? So it says unit three, I will be able to identify the crisis that might likely attack my organization. Okay, and number one it says, how would you define an organizational crisis? So this is something that somebody was saying tonight is when there is like a problem, right? Or a lot of problems that are attacking the, uh, the organization that are causing the organization not to work the way that they do. What would you do if your business found itself in a difficult situation due to an unexpected crisis? Okay, what is the answer for that question? What would you do, my friends? I think it's important to to make like an investigation to know what what are the 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 causes and of the problems and maybe attack by 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 for by by uh, by for one for each each cause in order to to improve the the situation. I think. Because if you you don't know what what happened, you can you can resolve it. Perfect. So that is actually what you have to do for a crisis, right? You need to research about the causes and then try to find a solution. Sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it's more difficult, right? For example, the climate uh, crisis. I mean, we can discuss about that one month. And probably we're not going to find a solution or something that people are willing to. Because, I mean, 
plastic, for example, people know that plastic is pollution, that you are going to, I mean, a bottle of water empty, if you send that to to the water, for example, or for the countryside, uh, it's going to be there 100 years in my endowment. So we are not going to be here anymore, but the bottle is going to be there causing problems with the planet. But the plastic is not going to, uh, it's going to be there, I mean, we will continue using plastic. So sometimes to find a solution is very, very difficult, right? Good, so we have a conversation. I'm going to tell the words, check the conversation and then uh, see the pronunciation. And of course, then you are going to practice and then we are going to check the vocabulary, okay? It says, Michael, I heard of the crisis you are having at your electronic factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly lines was damaged and the computers got wet when the firefighters came. Oh my, I'm sure the insurance company will see to the damage costs. That's the issue. We took it easy thinking none of this would have happened. So we'll delay the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness, check if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Okay, do you have any pronunciation questions? Got fire, which one how do you pronounce? I'm sorry, something, which one? Something called coat or uh, caught. 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 Yeah, caught. Caught fire. Good. Any other pronunciation questions? Assembly teacher. Assembly, yeah. Assembly. Uh -huh. And machinery. Machinery, yeah. Machinery. Teacher, fire, 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 fighter. Fire, fire, yeah, firefighters. Fighter, fire, fighter. Yeah, fire, fire. fighter. Exactly. So there are two words, fire, fighters. And then you put them together, firefighters. Okay. Like a fight. <laughs> Actually, yeah, because they fight against the fire, right? So, no, fight is, is a, 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 a juego de video, you know? Ah, yes, yeah, Street Fighter. Fight. <laughs> fighter. Yeah. Is a fighter. Yeah, that is true. That is true. All right. Any other pronunciation questions? Kind of coverage. 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 Yeah. Any other pronunciation questions? Insurance? Insurance. Okay. Any other pronunciation questions? What is the pronounce assembly? Assembly. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's practice. Okay, so in pairs, we're going to practice the conversation. And then after we all practice, we're going to check the vocabulary. All right, let's start with Fatima. Fatima and Jamie and Raquel. Let me start. You can start, Fatima. 
I call. I heard. I heard of the crisis you are having. Crisis. Crisis you are having at your electronics factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that. That great. Something caught fire in the storage room, and we lost the production for the past month. The machinery from the assembly lines was damaged, and the computer go went when the fiery fiery fire came. Oh my. I'm sure the insurance company will see to the damage cost. That's the issue. We took, we took it easy, thinking no more of the good have happening. So we delayed the delay. paperwork. So we delay the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness. Check if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Very good, very nice, thank you. Okay, now Vanessa, Noemi and David Alexander. Okay, teacher. Michael, I heard of the crisis you are having at your electronics factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly lines was damaged and the computers got good when the Fire, 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 fires came. Oh my! I'm sure the insurance company will see that. Will see to the damage cost. That is the issue. Will we talk? It is thinking. None of this will have happened. So we delay the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness, check if there is any kind of cover coverage from the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Very good, very nice, thank you. Now, Holman Saul and Daniel Arquibides. <clears throat> Michael, I heard of the crisis you are crisis. having a uh, crisis you are having at your electronics factory what's going on are you okay we are not doing that great something caused fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months the machinery from the assembly line was damaged and the computers go with when the firefighters came. Oh, my. I am sure the insurance company will see to the damage cost. That's the issue. We took it easy thinking now of it will have happened. So we delayed to paperwork for the insurance. Goodness, check check if there is a, any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for the other business. I'm mean, sure there must be some little help there at least. At least. Least. Good, perfect, thank you. Now let's see Nelson Antonio Rodas and Hector Francisco. I hear of crisis you are having at your electronic factory. What going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Sometime caught fire in the storage room and we lost 
the production from the past two months, the machinery, machinery from the assembly, 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 assembly lines was damaged, damaged, and the computers got wet when the firefighter come. Came. Oh my! Came. I'm sure they. Oh my! I'm sure the insurance company will see to the damage cost. That's the issue. We took, we took it. It is it thinking none of this would have happened. So we delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness, check if there if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance. You have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some some little help there at least. Very good, nice. So now we're gonna listen to Jose Alberto and Osvin Alexis. Okay, Michael, I heard of the crisis you are having at your electronics factory. What's going on? Are you okay? are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly, assembly? Assembly. Assembly lines was damaged. And the company got wet when the fire fires came. Oh my. I'm sure the insurance company will see to the damage cost. That's the issue. We took it easy thinking now of this will have happened. So we delight the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness. Check if there, there is any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for the other business. I'm sure there must be some little help there, at least. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Ivan Petrovich and uh, Daniel, no, they did already, and uh, Carla Lorena. Okay, Michael, I heard of the crisis you're having at your electronic factory. What's going on? Are you okay? Hello, Ivan. Is it possible for you? Not possible. Okay. Herman, is it possible for you? Not possible either. Uh, Erica. Ah. Okay, yes, you are Michael. Okay. Uh, could you please start again, Carla Lorena? Okay, Michael. I hear, Michael. I hear of the crisis you are having at your electronic factory. What going on? Are you okay? We are. We are not doing the great. Uh, something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly line was damaged and the computers got wet when got went got wet when the firefighters came. Oh my I am sure the insurance company will see to the damage cost. That's the issue. 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 We took it easy thinking no, none of the will have happening. So we delighted the paper, delay. Delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness. Check if there is check if there is any kind of 
coverage from the insurance you have for the other business. I am sure there must be some little help there at least. All right, very good, thank you. Samantha and Lucy, Natalie, is it possible for you, Lucy? I guess it's not possible for her. Uh, Kenya, Cecilia, then. Um, not possible for her as well. Okay, Samantha, uh, you are going to do it with Vanessa. Okay. Michael, I heard of the crisis you are having at your electronic factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assemble lines was damaged and the computers got wet when the firefighters came. Oh my, I'm sure the insurance company will see to the damage cost. That's the issue. We took it easy thinking none of this would have happened. So we delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness, check if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for, for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Very good, perfect, thank you. So. Let's check the pronunciation of some words, okay? Remember, this one is crisis, okay? Uh, let's see. Cow. That one is cow. Um, assembly. Damaged. Uh, wet. Firefighters. Insurance issue delay goodness coverage. All right, so those are from pronunciation. So now we're going to check the vocabulary. What is I heard? What is heard? It's like listen. Exactly. It's the past of here, right? Here and her. I hear past. Uh, which I was the crisis already. So, count. Uh, does anybody know what is count? Is the past of cash? Is the pass of catch very good? So, cow is like you get trapped, right? Cow, a, a trap, a trap, yeah, that would be it. Um, what is storage? When you save something in a place, in this case, in a room, very good. Storage is when you keep something apart, right? You put away something. Nice. And then the next one says, well, machinery, you know, that is about machines. So it's a lot of machines together. So that is the machinery, right? Okay, these are together, assembly lines. So the assembly lines is like the, the machines that put together something. Hey, I disappeared. That's strange, look at me, I disappeared. Goodbye, <laughs> assembly, it's like match. I don't know, I cannot, I cannot show you. Like, 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 oh my goodness, <laughs> like this. Oh, well, I disappeared, but anyways. So it's going to be like assembly, right? Uh, let's see, damage, what is damage? Okay, damaged is like broken. 
something that is not working properly. So it's damaged. So the machinery got damaged in mind. So they lost all the production and also they lost the, the machines. And the computers got wet, it says. My goodness. Uh, what is wet? Anybody knows? When folks uh water. <laughs> Very good. Yes, the water. Mm -hmm. That is it. So for example, when your when your cell phone goes into La Pila, right, and get wet. So that's not good. So, oh my goodness, my cell phone got wet. So that is it. Firefighters, what are the firefighters? The people who turn off the fire. Very good. So if you have a fire, you call the firefighters so they can stop the fire, right? Right? Insurance, what is insurance? It's the company that uh, make the, or oh, cover the, the damage in, in a crisis or in a disaster. Very good. So it's a company that sells to you, right? You are paying every month in case something happens. But if something happens, they pay. So that is the insurance. Here in Salvador, maybe the most common is the cars, cars insurance, right? But if you have an accident, you call the company and then uh, the company comes, they take some pictures, they ask some questions and they pay you, right? Uh, that will be, okay. Uh, what is issue? Problem. Like a problem. Yeah, so that is not only for companies or things that you can say, uh, Marta has issues. So she has problems. Something's going on with Marta, right? Okay, uh, known. What is known? Is nothing? Nothing, none, nothing at all. Very good. What is delay? It's like uh, um, when you lost or or something is is uh, um tardado in Spanish. Not on time. Not on time. All right. Very good. And what is uh, paperwork? The paperwork is when you have to do, when you have to fill some forms, when you have to complete uh, some procedures, right? And then you submit the papers to another office, company, things like that. So that will be it. Uh, goodness, well, you know, that, what is that one, right? That is an expression that is, I believe in every language you have things like that one, right? So here, they say La Sanguista, <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Um, let's see. Coverage. What is coverage? A kind of insurance to be to. Okay. Very good. This is an interesting word. I mean, coverage is related to the insurance company. So when you pay for an insurance, I mean, they don't cover everything. Right? They cover certain things. So uh, if, for example, if you are drunk and you have a car accident, they don't cover the accident. Mm -hmm. uh, that is very useful in that. In the insurance company. So there are incidents that are covered and there are incidents that are not covered in the insurance plan. 
right? And that is it. Do you have any questions here? No questions. Very good. So we have two questions here. Discuss these questions with a partner says, is it all right to assume nothing will go wrong in a business venture? What do you think? Yes or no and why? I think it's it's not not um convenient for me for a um not for a person and not for a uh company because when you assume this uh something is okay or everything is uh, okay always uh, something happened and it's part for the the security in, in in the company or or for the business. Very good. So yes, we need to be ready for it. Anything can happen. And insurance, I mean, here in El Salvador, I know that we don't pay for that. One. I mean, because you can pay for insurance for your house, for example. If there is a fire or something happened to your house and you are paying an insurance, they pay, okay? Just say, you need a new refrigerator, you need anything good. And uh, they pay more. So that is very good. Uh, for example, when you have a car, I remember that I had a car that was valued in six thousand dollars, and they say that uh, if uh, if the car was stolen, if somebody takes the car, they pay me eight thousand dollars. So that was good, right? Of course, nobody took my car, so I pay, and nothing happened. But we don't know. We don't know what could happen. Many things can happen, and when you invest a lot of money in a company, of course, you need to be sure that if anything happens, you are covered, right? Not a problem. So definitely it's not a good idea to assume. That is a nice word as well. Assume, assuming is never good. Never good to assume. Then number two says, which possibilities would you take into account to prepare a plan in case of a crisis? Aha, uh -huh. what do you think? Imagine that you have a business. What situations, what possibilities you believe can happen to a business? Any kind of business. First, teacher, I think you have to take in a, in the account which which products uh, you have in the storage room. Because it, it depends after that, you can change the plan. So if you have like an ex explosive materials, you have to take this, this kind of, of plan to avoid that it ex explode. 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 Okay, so that is a very good thing. For first of all, let's think about maybe not only the product, but also uh, the facilities that we have, right? I mean, the the building, the uh, warehouse, the procedures that we do, the chemicals. Sometimes uh, one chemical can cause a big disaster, right? So we need to be careful about that one. What other possibilities do you need to consider here? Okay, actually, there are many. I mean, uh, fire, right? Ah, Vanessa, go ahead. How many people is, is in there, I think? Also, that is important. Right? How many people are there? Uh, 
a fire, as we saw here, uh, an earthquake, you know. I mean, anything can happen, right? A uh, flood, I mean, you, if the business is in a hole or, or anything like that, when it rains, sometimes there might be a flood. So a lot of things can happen, a lot of things. So, and you need to be kind of ready. I know that it's not possible to be totally ready. For example, for the pandemic, I believe that nobody was ready for that. Yes, you are ready for certain situations, but nobody says, I'm going to pay an insurance for, in case there is a pandemic, right? Yeah, nobody does that. But that happened. As we discussed yesterday, there were people that they lost their jobs, they lost their business. I mean, the business of all their lives. So, yeah, we need to be ready about that one. Nice. Very good. Uh, the video, we're going to watch it tomorrow, not tonight. Because tonight we're going to check about uh, these, uh, these uh, words, these phrases. It says, read the following examples of crisis that may attack an organization. Match them with the correct category from box. Check the answers with plus. Okay, well, let's speak about the, the words, okay? natural disasters. Definitely. Here in this country, there are many things, right? Uh, a lot of rain, a lot of things. So um, what are the most common natural disasters that we have? Um, not only in El Salvador, but in the world. What can you think of? Airways. Earthquakes in some countries are very common. Mexico, El Salvador, Japan. Very common. Very good. Any others? Storm. Storms, a lot of rain that may affect the business. Definitely. Not only, I mean, not only because the water can go inside of the business, but imagine that. Uh, you need to send production to another country and it's not possible because, I mean, there is a lot of rain, so they can affect a lot. What any other natural disaster can you think of? When the weather is so hot, teacher can be affect the, the agriculture. That is true. Plant. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that affects the whole country, right? So you mind that if it rains a lot, sometimes uh, the crops, the fruits and vegetables are lost. Uh, or if it doesn't rain, if there is a drought, I'm going to write that, that word in the, in the chat. A drought. Do you know what is that? Drought. No. Okay, a drought is in Spanish sequía, no rain. Mm -hmm. So definitely that affects a lot of businesses and also the country for the food and things like that. One. All right. The other one says power outage. Uh, power outage is when there is no energy. Buy to the energy and what you do is to call Clesa, right? Hey, what happened? I have a business here. So how can affect the power outage to a company? Tell me examples. Damage the device, teacher. That is true. It damaged the device. It's not good, right? Huh? What uh, other examples do you have? Delay the production with the machin machineries. Exactly. If you don't have energy, you cannot use the machinery. Right? Machines are dead. So you're going to delay the production. And I mean, of course, it's going to affect the cells. Nice. Any other example of power outage? Okay. Actually, that is something very important. We need to be ready about that one. Uh, IT system failure. Okay, of course. Imagine that you have a, a system and the system is not working. How can I affect a business IT system failure? What can you say?
if you have all the information on all the persons into the system, you can you can work and you can check any information that you want. So the 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 work stops. You know? That is true. So definitely, I mean, if you don't have access to the information to the system, it's not possible to, to work. I mean, if you go, have you ever gone to the bank and they say, I'm sorry, there is no system. It's because of this one, right? There is a problem with the system. There is energy. The people are there working. But without the system, you cannot get your money. So it's a big, big problem. Strike. Uh, okay, for us to check into strike, first we need to understand what is a union. I'm going to send you the word in the chat. Union. Anybody knows what is a union related to work, of course? Union. Okay, the union is syndicate. Okay, mm -hmm. so when the union goes to a strike is when they say, we're not going to work. We need more money. Mm -hmm. We need to fight for our rights. And they say, we are not going to work. Okay, so of course that affects the business, right? How does that affect the business? A strike. Una huelga. Get a bad reputation, like, um, maybe. That happens, bad reputation, right? People say, no, we don't want to go there. That's not. Any other? Medical doctor strike, teacher? That is common here in Sabah, right? They say, no, we're not going to work. Mm -hmm. We need more coffee in the afternoon. So, and then they don't work. And you are there in the Seguro Social with fever mm -hmm. and no medicine right so that happens right so affects affects a lot not only the business but also the users right and product recall do you understand what is product recall no yeah it's when the product is not it's not well and they want to return they they say this is not good something's going on and that is not that is not like a, well it's a crisis but it's not the other ones okay so i'm going to read you the other sentences so we can check some vocabulary and then i'm going to give you a few minutes for you to finish the exercise so it says the fleet crew all right so what is fleet crew It's the person that attends in an airplane, maybe? Very good. That is it. The people that work in an airplane. You know, when you enter into the airplane, they say you have to go the, the exit, emergency exit, go in the front, in the back, or the things. And they say instructions. So, yeah, definitely. And then it says stop the user activities due to a dispute. Uh, do you remember what is a dispute? It's like a fight. It's like a fight. It's like, a, yes, a conflict, right? It's like a, a discussion about something. All right, delay many passengers. Okay, something is doubling its efforts. What is doubling? When you make something in two efforts or two efforts. Oh, that is it. When you duplicate something, right? That is doubled. Okay, and the efforts, as you say, the efforts is when you push something, when you are doing the best, right? So that is it. To recall a lot of 
a uh, hundred thousand cell phones which are dimmed. Uh, right? What is dim? Anybody knows? A dim is another word for considered. So are considered to be highly explosive and harmful. So what is harmful? Okay, harmful is something dangerous. Something that can cause you um, some problems, some pain, some difficulty, some sickness. So that is harmful. Number three says Netflix received countless complaints. What is countless? Okay, countless is a lot. You cannot count. Too many. I mean, it's, it's not infinite, but it's, it's too many for us to count. Complaints. What is a complaint? When you are in disagree with something and you express them. Very good. Nice, Jen. So that is it. A complaint is when you don't like something, when something is not satis satisfactory for you, and you say, right, this pizza is not good. I need my money back. Or I don't know, when you call Tigo, right? Have you ever called Tigo or Claro or any company? My internet is failing. I want to watch this movie. What happens? So, yeah, that is a complaint. Uh, when the service went offline because of faulty glitch, uh, what is a glitch? Okay, a glitch is like a breakdown. It's like a problem, a situation, but it's, it's very common to use this word in technical things. I mean, computers, internet connection, a software can be or can have a glitch. When you have a glitch, it's like, oh, it's not showing me the right information or the color is not good. I don't know. So a glitch is like a problem, a specific problem that is happening to a software or anything. Uh, in the system that interrupting common request to the main servers. What is a server? Is it the brain or a system, for example, a brain on a system, a company. Very good. Yeah, server is something like that. It's like a, a computer, but more, more powerful than a singular computer, right? It's very, very, uh, very fast and it has a lot of storage. So that is a server. Okay, number four says the earthquake in Japan to uh, 2011 destroyed many production facilities, resulting in car manufacturers to run low on supplies and causing great economical loss to small pop. I don't see any word here. A massive power interruption. Okay, this is a good one. Massive power interruption. So when you say a massive, is a lot. It's a lot, a lot of cities a lot of neighborhoods, a lot of people. So massive power interruption. So that is, you know what is the answer for that, I guess. In Taiwan, cars a great material loss the production of the new iPhones. That is it. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to complete the sentences. You are going to complete the sentences with the words that are here on the chart. Okay, read the information and then uh, complete the sentence. I will give you a few minutes.
Ooh, okay, so let's check my friends. Who wants to say number one? I think it's a strike. Strike. Okay, says the fleet crew of the British Airways Service staff their usual activities due to a dispute over late payment, interruptions, delay main passages. Yeah, that is a strike. Very good. So, number two, who wants to say it's number two? Brother Calvillo. Paul recall, definitely is that one. Samsung is doubling in the forts to recall a lot of uh, 100,000 cell phones which are deemed to be highly explosive and harmful. Definitely that is proud, right? Number three, who wants to say number three? IT system failure. IT system failure, very good. Netflix received countless com complaints when their service went offline because of a faulty glitch in the system that interrupted incoming requests to their main service. Very good. Main is like principal, okay? Uh, and definitely is uh, IT system failure. Number four, who wants to say number four? Natural okay. disasters. Natural disasters. Mm -hmm. Natural disasters. Yeah. The earthquake in Japan 2011 destroyed many production facilities, resulting in the car manufacturing to the lowest supplies and causing great economical loss to small companies. That is definitely natural. So the last one. Power outage. Power outage. Very good. A massive power interruption in Taiwan caused great material loss to the production of the new iPhones. Very good. So that is power outage. Nice. Do you have any questions with this? Teacher, if you want to say it, se fue la luz, you can say power outage. Yeah, you can say there is a power outage. There is a power outage. Okay, thank you. Okay, you can see here that the crisis, it can come from anything, right? Natural disaster, uh, energy, water, systems, people. We can have a crisis in many, many ways. So, yeah, this is uh, something we need to consider, right? Also for our personal lives. That is something that also is really important. We're going to discuss that later. Okay, now let's check number five. It says vocabulary practice. Crisis come in different categories. Some are easier to handle than others. Close out the crisis that does not belong in the category. So we have five categories and we have three different examples. So we're going to cross the ones that are not part of the category. Okay, I'm going to give you a few minutes because you need to look for the words in the dictionary. You will see some words there and you are going to tell me the meaning of the words, okay? So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to look for the words in the dictionary and then uh, cross the one that it doesn't belong. We have to look for each word. The words that you don't know, of course. Ah, okay. Uh, the words that you don't know, because I'm going to ask you, what is a hurricane? And you are going to explain me what is a hurricane. And then you are going to tell me from the three examples, which one is not correct? Which one is not a natural disaster or a malevolence or proud report or anything like that, okay? So, any questions with the activity? Okay, I'm gonna give you a few minutes, my friends.
Ooh, okay, so let's check together. Let's check the number one. What is a hurricane? Check the pronunciation. Hurricane. What is a hurricane? Natural disaster. Uh, you said natural disaster, yeah. but what is a hurricane? Explain me what is that. Ah, when the when the wind is very very hard and can uh, the roof uh, fly the roof <laughs> and the that cow is... and then and the... <laughs> yeah and the hurricane. <laughs> that is true. That is true. So it's like. A natural disaster that comes with a lot of wind, a lot of rain, a lot of problems, right? Very good. Infrastructure collapse. What is that? It's not a natural disaster. It's not a natural disaster. Very good. Uh, and what is that? What is an infrastructure collapse? When a building falls down. That is true when a building falls down. That happens when we have uh, all buildings, right? All bridges, all infrastructure. Uh, or when you put a lot of heavy things on top of that one. Definitely, I mean, it's not going to work that way. So that is infrastructure cuts. Very good. Earthquake, what is that? When the land shakes a lot. Very good. When the earth moves under your feet, right? So, and here in El Salvador, I mean, it's very common. The, the only good thing is that here it are very, very small, right? Yes, we have large earthquakes sometimes, but the most of the time is, is a little bit. Sometimes, I mean, I read the news and sometimes we have 40 or 50 little earthquakes in a day. That is good, right? That is nice. All right. Uh, let's check the other one. Product tampering. What is that? It's not. It's not malevolence. I guess. <laughs> All right. But what is product tampering? I think it's when the product is uh, contaminated, delivered. Very good. Don't deny that. When it's polluted, but it's on purpose. So uh, definitely that is not good, right? Not good. And, and yes, actually that is malevolence. It's when, I mean, something happened uh, on purpose. Boycott. What is a boycott? To refuse to, to to make some activity. Very good. To refuse to, when you say we're going to block. For example, in El Salvador, it's very common that some people, they go and block the streets, right? And they say, nobody's going to pass here. So that is a boycott. It's kind of a boycott. Uh, and is that malevolence? You didn't find it. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it of is. Course. Yeah. So yes, product tampering was not malevolence and boycott. It is malevolence. Malicious rumors. What is that? Maybe when someone give a. a Hypothesis about something. Very good. So when, yeah, some some people, they spread rumors, but there are bad rumors about people, about companies. They say, this is not good, right? So don't buy here because of this or this. And definitely. When, when huh? we don't, sorry. When we don't uh, talk with truth, it's a exactly. rumor. That is true. Very good. 
All right, product recall. Adulterate uh, products. What is adulterate products? When add uh, water to milk. That is true, right? When they put some water into the milk. Uh, I was reading that here in El Salvador, they found water in the gasoline, right? the gas. That is adulterated mm -hmm. product. Definitely not good. Okay, misbranded products. What is that? When the product is not the correct brand, if someone changes the the brand of the products. Exactly. When the specifications, the name of the product, anything like that that is related to the product is not correct. Right? So you are misled and then of course uh, you are not having for what you pay for. Software failure, what is that? When the software doesn't work correctly. Very good. It's like a glitch, right? It's when the software is it doesn't do what they have to do. Good. So uh, in this one, that one, I guess, is the one that is not product recall. Number four says IT system failure. Hacking. What is hacking? When someone wrote the information or, or let me see, another thing, say information in the, in the net, I think. That is it. Yeah, hacking is when people from outside of the company come into the company and get the information, right? There are many ways of hacking, actually. Phishing, for example, when they, this is very common, you know, when you receive an email, and it says, uh, this is from your bank. It seems that something is going on. Please click on this link and enter your password and things like that one. And that is phishing. So they want to get your, your information. And there are many others. I mean, another that is very popular, maybe you have heard that or have received that one, is when you receive an email. And in the email, somebody says, I'm in Africa. Uh, and I have two million dollars, and I'm going to give you one million to you if you help me moving the money, right? Uh, you know, I I sometimes I, I I answer those emails. I say, okay, let's make the money. What do I have to do? And they tell you, send me two hundred dollars, and then I'm going to send you the one million dollars, and it's not good, right? So, have you ever received emails like that? Yes, I received the email. Uh, the the system recognized it was a spam, as a spam. Definitely it's a spam. Yeah. So a lot of uh, types of IT. Definitely sabotage. What is sabotage? When someone makes you a match a uh, machinery or. What other thing I think that is it. Yeah, when some some people they think I'm going to ruin, I'm going to break this machine, so this doesn't work, right? But definitely, that is not good. That is actually malevolence. Uh, all right, and the last one is server malfunction. What is that? It's similar to system failure. Actually, it's similar. Yeah, when the server doesn't work, remember that in the server we have all the databases. So, not possible to access to the databases. So, you cannot work, right? Power outage, we know what is that? Terrorism, what is that? Violent action that people make. That is it. 
And actually, there are people that they uh, make terrorist as acts for companies. So that happens. Maybe not that common in Salvador, but yeah, other countries is very common. Gauss outages. What is that? When you are, uh, when is a uh, disrupt of the service of gas? Very good. For example, in another country, the gas is in subterranean, in tubes. That is true. Gas outage. So, uh, when you don't, you cannot buy gas, gasoline. So, even if you have the money, no gas. So that is a problem because, I mean, uh, if you have a business, for example, people won't be able to go to your places or you won't be able to move the product. So definitely it's not good. Nice. Do you have any questions here? No one. Teacher, what is utilities failure? I didn't understand that. Uh, yeah, utilities is like things that you use uh, that are like gasoline, energy, uh, water, um, things like that one that are going to make your home or your business work. The service that you have in your home. Something like services, yeah, something like that. So the, ter the terrorism is not the utility failure. Definitely, and that then, is not. And the number four, sabotage, isn't. Isn't, yeah, that is good. Yeah, okay. Very good, very good. Any other question? All right, number six says, has your company plan ahead for possible, possible crisis? What do you know? Do you know if your company, they pay for insurance or they have plans in case of an earthquake? Or, I don't know, something happens, another pandemic. No, I believe that we have to wait a hundred years more. Yeah, I think the companies prepare with the uh... Like the fire, the earthquake, some things like that. Only for this type of crisis, they prepare and ensure insurance the the goods. We hope, right? We hope they have a plan, <laughs> because I mean, if they don't have a plan and we are working in that company. Not good, right? Not good. All right. The next one is very interesting. Create a checklist of possible unexpected crises that may affect the company and brainstorm with a partner how to prevent the situation. So we're going to do that exercise. So it's going to be individual. I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to think about situations uh, that can cause crisis and what you can do to prevent those situations to happen. And then everybody's going to share, okay? Any questions about the activity? All right, I will give you a few minutes.
All right. So who wants to share what you have? Anybody wants to share? Me to share. I okay. have two. Nice. Um, a bankruptcy from a client with a big debt. And the, it, it could be a crisis if, if the client um, don't have enough, doesn't have enough money to pay their debt. So the possibilities that you have to to make is achieve the the deadline to ask the client for the payment and don't make any sales before receive the money another could be a person that makes a unique job and no one can replace the position because don't know how to to do it so in this case, it's important to prepare another person in different areas in order to cover the position when it, it's necessary in order to 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 make the job and don't stop the company for one person that is missed. Very good, interesting, very nice. That was very good analysis. Any other person wants to share? One more because we have to go to sleep. Nobody. All right. That's fine. So please try to practice whenever you have the chance. Um, and we're going to stop the class right now. We're going to check the attendance. Let's see. Christian Alexander Areval Delgado. Daniel Antonio Luna. Daniel Archimedes Florentino Garcia. Present. Good. Erika Yasmin Martinez Carpio. Present. Good. Fátima Denise Aguilar Mertes. Germán Alexander Durán Linares. Present. Good. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Good. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Okay. Good. José Alberto Baños Hernández. Present. Good. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Good. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Right here. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Nelson Antonio Errodas Rosales. Present. Good. Oswin Alexis Flores Hernández. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Good. Zulma Janet Ramírez Ábalos. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. And David Alexander Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Good. Okay, and the one one of today is for, uh, let's see, Nelson Antonio. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a very good night. Have a nice rest and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Everyone. Good night. Okay. You, bye-bye. Good night. Night. Hey, Anderson, how are you? I'm sleeping, teacher.
Ah, me too, you know, style, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so uh, just a few questions. Uh, do you feel that you are moving on with the classes that you are learning English? Yes, I I feel that that is okay. But I I have a little pro problem with, um, for, for example, when, when you say that we have to read a paragraph and after you you ask for what are the what were the understanding about it. In my in my case it's a a little difficult to read the, the paragraph and after give a, a context about it. Mm, okay. It's because you don't get I mean sometimes what happens there is that there are a few words that you don't understand. Some words are key for you to understand the whole thing, but not all the words. So if you understand the whole thing, you can explain what is this about. So just use different words. That's the only thing that you have to do. And uh, it's a good, it's a good um, exercise for you to get more vocabulary as well. So if you see words that you don't know, look for the words in the dictionary, check the pronunciation, the meaning, and that way you are going to understand better those things. Yes, uh, and another reason can be that like, as you you told me is the the that topic in my case are mm, are new for me that topic so I have never here I have never read about it so is there are a lot of new words for me and. But the almost I, I I write in my notebook some the almost words that I understand and some ones I I write in English and I put the the meaning in English but another I write in English and I write the meaning in Spanish and when I have uh when I have time I I check and I. I try to learn, learn about it. Very good. That is a very good uh, strategy. So if you continue like that, you will you will get into that. So uh, do you have any okay. questions? No, I another thing. Uh, something I do maybe in the in the morning when I have breakfast, I try to watch a video about TED and tax. But it's, it's a little difficult because they they talking very, very fast. So it's, it's difficult because maybe I used to hear a video when they speak slowly. So I this is another problem because they they speak very fast. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But it's a very good exercise. So yes. if you continue doing the exercises, everything will be fine. Yes. Another another thing that I do is I I watch video the, the speech about Barack Obama. Mm, very good. Yes. Uh, about Barack Obama, I I understand more because Barack Obama speaks very slow and and he takes pause when are when he are talking about speech. That is true. So those kind of exercises are the ones that you need to continue doing, so you improve your English. And also, okay. when you have the chance here, try to speak. So that is going to help you a lot. Okay, and I don't know uh, what do you think, or maybe you can give me some tips to learn more easily. I don't know. Well, a very good strategy that I always recommend is that you need to start thinking in English, everything in English. So you wake up in the morning and you say, I'm going to have coffee, I'm going to have sweet bread. All those words in English, little by little, okay? 
if you are there in the house and sometimes you feel, uh, do you find or do you want to use something and you don't know the word in English? Look at the dictionary. And then tomorrow you are going to learn that one. But if you think in English every day, you are going to get it. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. It's yes, a pleasure. Uh, yes, I I know. I know. I don't have a question about it. But thank you for your support, teacher. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. So by now, have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night for you. Bye-bye.